Last time we played two weeks ago, I was whooping, I was whooping him, and he face spikes me with up B. I was so pissed. It, it so happens mad. every time it gets so Mario. So mad. I was so mad. Last stock game five, I'm, I'm dominating. Stay spiked by Uppy. I missed the tech because I'm a scrub. Oh my god. Anyway, this match, we got Navi versus Nito. That's going to be Peach versus Terry, I believe. Yeah. Navi's always been like, kind of like a hidden boss. He never really takes competing super seriously, but when he does, he's very skilled. Always one of the scarier players to fight, even for us ranked, ranked folk. Mm -hmm. He's taken the game three last hit on multiple occasions, both in Smash 4 and in this game. So. I believe this is a button check? This is, yes. Yeah. Nito, of course, someone who really embodies the spirit of Wednesday Night Fights as an FGC veteran, but a newbie to Smash in particular, only took up the game in March and already taking names himself. Oh, absolutely. I really just has managed to make the most of, I guess, quote unquote, traditional fighting game characters, the Shotos and now Terry. Terry. We got Ken, we got Ryu, we got Terry. Trio of auto turnaround. Triangle of ignorance, I'm kidding. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I mean, if there weren't potentially any Terra mains in the chat, I would I would say I agree. But Terry's a lot of fun to play. He's, I actually really like. I was scared that they were gonna make him like super like ignorant and yeah. stupid. But he actually he's really I think he's good. And he has a lot of like you know a lot of his special. Not any lag. He's pretty strong. His hitboxes are huge. But I actually like him a lot. He's actually really cool. Yeah, he feels good, but he also feels fair good, which I think is really important. He feels good. Yeah. I wouldn't say fair. I don't think there's anything. When I think of fair in this game, I literally can't think of anything. Some people jump and say, oh, cheat. No. No. No, not no. even. Not even. Those <laughs> people didn't watch that yesterday. Can't. <laughs> Maybe Pit. No. Not even him. No. Screw Who Pit's frame Pit's data. honest. Pit's really. frame data can like, actually get out of here. And right now, we're getting into game one, I believe, on PS2. Yup, it is gonna be the Terry from Nito, this newly developed character against Navi's Peach. Look at this layout we've got going. Fancy. Fancy, exactly. We got the production value. Another shout out to Javi. Approaching with a crack shoot. All right, Nito tried to punish that down, so that a shoot with Nair, but he didn't quite connect. You know, that landing, I believe that's his forward air, right? When he sticks his foot out? I think so, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that has to be his forward air. Nito is sort of is playing this at a distance, trying to bait Navi to approach him. Ooh, that parry! He's able to get a couple of down tilts into Rising Tackle out of it, putting him to 118. Got him with that crack shoot. Crack shoot's very underrated move. It's really quick, sends you to a very awkward angle. If you hit uh, like a character with a bad recovery off stage with it, it'll gimp them. And a good burning knuckle from Nito gonna take that first stock. Navi not quite reacting to it. Navi getting his combos off, down throw back air. Now has him cornered, but loses his uh, positioning. And that's gonna allow him to get two consecutive crack shoots, one out of a setup. Put. Now, after that back air, Nito is gonna be into triple digits in his percent, allowing him to get the power geyser oh using that full reach. A lot of people still don't pay attention to how just how big that move is. Mm -hmm. to, you'll double full, like you'll full hop double jump, it'll still hit, it'll still hit you. So Navi probably just wasn't aware that it would hit him all the way up there. Nito, a carry player in his own right. So he just was aware, you know, it's big enough to hit him. And I think one of the things people just aren't used to is that there aren't many moves that send at that weird 25 degree angle that Power Geyser does as right. Navi finally gets the first stock with a bear. So it's not the traditional either straight upward moves that most up airs or up tilts would go or the 45 degree angle that other bears might reach. Right. Once again on the down throw, Nair got that damage. Pulls the sitch. This could be the stock. Navi not quite capitalizing. He was able to get back on stage. Once again, he has that goal meter ready. Power dunk almost met with the back air and finally able to get another power geyser. Navi is going to live this, but drifts out of the way of the second one. Oh. Nito in control right now. One for the Buster Wolf, didn't quite get it. Navi able to get that punish. How's he gonna keep Nito off stage? Down so we'll pop him up, but still gonna be living at 157. Navi, Navi needed to convert that or else. Ooh, kind of an anti counter coming down. Very risky, especially when you're down by this much and you're at 127 versus Terry. But he didn't, he didn't die for it, so. Oh, now he'll be stuck. Quick dash attack with that amount of range is just so scary to deal with, especially when you're cornered as Navi just was. And it's gonna be a two stock for Nito. Nito going up 1-0 in this best of three. 
showing us that he is indeed a competent, competent player with Terry. Also a very entertaining character to watch and fight, in my opinion. I agree. He's just so fun to sort of bait out. He feels like a new take on sort of the same genre of character that we've been used to seeing. Right. And it's very interesting seeing his moves. I like I like, I like, like the dynamic he gives. Um, the meter is a little bit weird. Mm -hmm. It takes a bit to get used to. Um, paying attention to it also. It's just insane to me that it never goes away. <laughs> yeah. That's crazy. I know people, a lot of people were unhappy with, you know, oh, this game has far too many comeback mechanics, but as far as those go, I, I don't think, I don't think Terry's is, you know, game breaking by any stretch of the imagination. Right, this is really good. Yes. Well, as far as we know, I don't think we've seen, obviously we haven't seen enough of Terry yet, but so far it does seem, it's not that big of a deal. He's just a character with a good mechanic. So as we move on again, too, it's going to be Town and City between Nito and Navi. All right, Navi is a big fan of this stage. I feel like every time I play him, takes me here. Some of the side platforms, of course, giving him a bit more opportunity to hold back and pull any turnips if he doesn't have one in his hand already. All right, air dodge down to the ground. Ooh. Comboing off that turnip with that up air, but he isn't able to extend further. Got him with that spot dodge cancel. Navi's just trying to find his way in, drifting. He drifts in and he tries to see how Nito's reacting, but Nito just swats him out of the air every time. And that once was again. Yeah, that was really smart by Nito a moment ago, going for the rising tackle where it would have put him on top of the platform, not in a position where he would have had that long special fall back to the stage where Navi could have been waiting on him. Right. Ooh, Navi with these double back airs. He wanted the forward air there. Is an Ethro gonna kill for no. No, no. It is that side plot. Crazy things happen on that side platform. Bowser Jr.'s jab kills at 59. That's a wild yeah. place to be. Wow, and the auto turnaround coming to the rescue for Nito after he misses that first power dunk. Move has so little lag, he just had time to jab again. Oh, 46 damage off that uh, F to the Buster Wolf, I believe. That was actually right. And with just three moves, he's already going to put him at 73. Terry's damage output is nothing to scoff at. Probably one of the best in the game. Got him with that down tilt up beat, not quite going to take the stock. Town City, of course, with that very high ceiling, as well as that move not being extremely strong. Double jab to Power Dunk, and the dash attack wow. putting him off the left side of the stage. And Nito up three stocks to one. This, this it just seemed the first stock was going so well. It was going even, and then he lost his first stock, and Nabi lost his first stock, and just now it snowballed into Nito's like, heavy favor. And that is the advantage of playing a character, such a combo-oriented character such as Terry. If you even win two or three interactions, that can turn the tide of an entire match. Right. Right now, Nabi like, still has that go meter on, on, <laughs> on deck, too. Out of the way of the Buster Wolf. How's Nabi going to get the stock? Yes, take it as soon as he can. 64 damage already on the board for Nito. Beach Bomber going to be easily punished for the up air. It's not looking good for Nabi. Trade going to work out in Navi's favor, but... Trading with the burning knuckle, but now Navi's at 97 on his last stock. Got you putting him up to 121. Ooh, a spot dodge before that up, he was able to connect. All right, combo. Drops the combo, only gets 35 damage on the board. This shouldn't be the... Oh, okay, well, never mind, yeah. Power dunk is a strong move, especially with a true input, as I'm sure that was from Nito and a comprehensive 2-0 victory over Navi advances him one round further. Nito gonna be taking that set. With the tried and true. Brand new, Terry. Me and Nito have the same summit bag. Do you? Gonna show that off. <laughs> or the Smash of G bag, we both got it from Summit. Oh, very nice. I saw oh, that I was play? on the compendium. Oh. Charlie does have a match, so he'll be hopping off, but might be seeing him later, either on stream as a player or commentator. Who knows? Who knows indeed. Already got one player up to the setup next, so. From that match, right into another. Oh, it is gonna be Charlie, okay. So for the second time, we're gonna be, oh, oh, hmm, I don't know. Spirit, too. Charlie the King facing off against Aimer.